Yo. Hey, what's up? It's Izzy here. And then I'm back with the Pokemon Shiny Gold Sigma Nuzlocke playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, we finally made it, made our way north of uh, Goldenrod City. And we caught a Hoot Hoot as our encounter. Battled a couple trainers and such and such and this and that. But today we're going to go over here and check out this bug catching contest. Before we go on, though, I do want to bring up something. I went back to the guy who uh, offered us a Pokemon to take to his, to take a note to his friend. And it turns out the Pokemon that he gave us was not a Spearow. It was, in fact, a Swablu. Which is dope, because that means that we can get an, Alter uh, an Altaria as an option. <laughs> and if some Unfortunately, if something was to happen to it, you know, we just go and transfer it anyway and get whatever item the guy is going to give us. But it has high defenses, high special attack, and uh, high speed and HP. Everything else is pretty lackluster, but the special defense of uh, Altaria is usually pretty high. And then with that HP, it has to help with the deficit of it. The attack, uh, unless you're doing the um, Dragon Dance Altaria variant, the attack won't be too important, but the special attack is definitely something I like to focus on when I'm using um, Swablu or Altaria. And so far it has Peck, Growl, Astonish, and Sing. I didn't know that they changed Sing to a fairy type move. Okay. We got a couple levels in between. I don't think anybody learned anything new, and Batgirl still didn't evolve yet, so I'm going to let her chill out for a little bit. I don't, I don't want her to get too over leveled just yet. When is the next bug catching contest going to be? We hold contests regularly in the park. You should give it a shot. Okay, so I guess we don't get to join the contest today. I take walks in the park, but I never go into the grass. Trainers always want to battle. Pay attention, please. Oops, I have to quit thinking like a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to have this. Got the Quick Claw. Let a Pokemon hold that Quick Claw. Sometimes it will strike first during battle. Okay. Hold up. We got a charcoal here, too. Let's give that to our graveler. Yep. And we'll give the quick claw to... Okay, that works. I wasn't trying to give it to uh, Dazzler, but... It's a good choice. I don't know if I want to catch a Pokemon in the grass now. Or come back when the bug catching contest happens because it's a chance to get like a Scyther, Pinsir, and maybe even a Heracross and if they added the, the newer generation bugs into it you know there's a uh, freak what's the electric spider name I forgot his name but it's a chance to get better uh, well other bug Pokemon anyway I might just catch something now Oddish? Well, you're about to get fucked up, Oddish. Dang, shit. Alright, our Swab Blue does have the ability when you swap it out, it heals itself of any uh, status ailment. So I might end up doing that depending on how this battle goes. I think he has one more Pokemon in addition to the Oddish. Okay. Bro, it don't matter how many times you use sweet set. There we go. Swablu is woke. It takes a ridiculous amount of experience points to train this motherfucker, though, because I got him. I think he was all the way back at like level 5 and I sat over there training them in the uh, woods for a little while then I 
brought him back up to this route that we just left off of. And even with the speed up times eight, it still took about a half an hour or so. My, my Pokemon. Sometimes I do time 16, but since it wasn't just all grass and bug type Pokemon, I had to do it times eight just so I don't accidentally make any mistakes. I guess you don't want to battle. Isn't there a way to get in? Behind these fences? This is mail I got for my daughter. It cheers me up. I'm playing with stickers I printed for my Pokedex. I remember when that was a feature. I don't know anybody who actually got to use it though. I'm printing out my Pokedex. You can also print out st stuff like mail in your PC boxes. Yeah, they had like a little add-on on the Game Boy Color that um, you can actually print stickers of the Pokemon that you had. Holy 